It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brewdog and it's a bottle of the Kanichiwa Kinsun. I believe that's right. It's a double IPA brewed in Japan. There's the grey and white Brewdog cap. And it's all in Japanese. So Kanichiwa Kinsun. I had to Google this beer. I do like to go in blind with my beer reviews but uh, unfortunately I don't read Japanese so there's a look at the label I've seen a lot of this beer on Instagram so when I was in my local brew dog in Cardiff uh, I had to pick this up and um, I thought well it's doing the rounds so it must be a decent beer even though interestingly enough a lot of the people posting were, in ja were from Japan so there was a lot of Japanese language there um, so I'm wondering, you know, it's going to be a bit, little bit of an interesting beer, this one. So, beer in the glass. Looks like classic Brewdog, that lovely golden coloured ale. Look at that. Nice levels of carbonation. A nice one finger tight, more or less white head. The beer is 8.2% ABV, it's in a 330 bottle, and guys, another thing, I didn't want to go too much into the beer, I didn't want to kind of Google the hell out of the beer, so I know exactly what I'm drinking here, but it's been brewed with yuzu. So, comments in the comments box please, what is yuzu and what should I be tasting? Let's get the aroma on this lovely coloured ale then. And it's a familiar, it reminds me a little bit of hardcore IPA. It's a familiar kind of aroma now from Brewdog. Um, familiar as in damn right amazing. The hops have got me salivating. It's, it's, it's a big hop monster of a beer. Lovely grapefruity, mango, bit of peach, a little bit of lemon. Oh, it smells fantastic. A little bit of pineapple in there. Let's dive in. Cheers. Konnichiwa. Yeah. Wow. Lovely kind of classic American double IPA or American style double IPA. It's, a, it's brewed by a, a Scottish brewery in Japan. Um, lots of grapefruit, lots of pineapple, lots of peach and mango. That tails off a little bit in the middle of the palate and then it comes booming back on the back end. First with a lot of bitterness. That bitterness then kind of dissipates a little bit and then the flavours come back. You're left with that lovely kind of lingering pineapple and grapefruit, a little bit of mango. And as with all Brudeau beers, they're all very drinkable. It's a lovely drinkable double IPA. It's not too sticky on the lips. It's refreshing. I've, I've learned to chill my IPAs. I try and get it down to about, that one is four, five degrees. And I've got that from just drinking in Brewdog in, in Cardiff. Normally I drink my IPAs and my pale ales. Anything really just comes off the kitchen shelf. I don't drink warm beer. In the winter time, it's 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 quite it's quite a nice temperature. But to get the beer at a perfect temperature, it gives the beer, or it's it's giving that beer that extra little bit of respect that it it deserves, serving it at a premium temperature for the beer, for the taste. Because if you cool a beer too too cold, you're going to get a hot haze too warm it's not going to be too refreshing it 
But yeah, lovely beer. The yuzu, um, I am tasting something a little bit different in the beer. It's just I've never had yuzu before, so I can't really... I suppose if you ask me to, to describe it, it tastes a little bit like tea. Am I just saying tea because it's popular in Japan? I don't know. I reckon I'm picking up a little bit of like a tea flavour. I'm probably backing right up the wrong tree here. Let me know what yuzu tastes like and what we might be able to have a conversation here about, about this beer. Um, one other thing before I dash, before I go, is that the reason this beer has been brewed in Japan, um, I'm, I'm presume it's a, presuming it's a collaboration beer with a Japanese brewer or maybe a Japanese beer celebrity out there or maybe in collaboration with Brewdog Japan because there's an actual bar in Tokyo uh, Brewdog got a nice bar in Tokyo so maybe there's a connection there with a the bar maybe it's a collaboration with a local brewery or maybe it's just a, a local beer celebrity out there that they've brewed this with but it's a lovely beer Classic brew dog. Very nice. Sharp, sweet, bitter, lots going on, loads of flavour. It's drinkable, it's nicely carbonated, it's a nice colour. Yeah. It's alright this one, it's nice. So, how do I rate it? I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. I don't know. I just feel that there's certain beers that I just go absolutely crazy for. I just like the, the double IPA from Norway I reviewed last week. It was hazy. And it was unfiltered and, and it was generally, it was superb, it was absolutely superb. This is very good, it's a very good beer, but I just, there's something in my mind, just, I'm wondering whether Brewdog are playing it safe a little bit. I'm wondering if they, they should produce a hazy double IPA, because they can, and, and just... I just feel like they, at, at the moment, they're at eighty percent. They they're kind of playing it a little bit safe, and they. Yeah, I, I I'm just yeah. I think they're just at eighty percent. I think I think. Say say for argument's sake, if their sales declined and 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 they went into reverse, and they were on the defensive. And um, obviously, when you're on the defensive, that you're you're pushed then to your limits, and and you get brought out of your comfort zone. Then maybe, or then maybe they will come out fighting and, and bring a a hundred percent guns blazing beer out. But I, I just feel that I, I mentioned it at the beginning beginning of the review that that it was familiar. It, it, was something slightly different from something else. It's it's not in its own completely different direction. And um, it's a little bit of a shame. It's still, as I mentioned, it's an 8 out of 10. It's still a very good beer. It's just I'm not raving. I'm not stone the crows. I'm not, you know, I'm not shouting from the rooftops from this beer. But, yeah, 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.